What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we got a new Titan Master to talk about. You see, the lovely folks over at Transformers Slag Podcast have gone and done a video revealing, well, some new stuff. We've got a new body. We've got a new head. We've got Skull Smasher. We've got Grax. And as always, let's give some love to the people doing the reveal, shall we? I'll pop a link to their video in the description. Do me a favor. Go click it, would ya? Just go click it. Go check it out. You know I'm going to cover all the exciting cars as they're revealed. It's kind of my thing. But as I've said, I want to say every time, at least every time I've known who did the reveal, let's make sure we give some love, shall we? It's pretty important. So, Skull Smasher then. I mean, firstly, it's like a full-on alligator, I want to say. My wife would know better than I. And... I mean, look, it's an 11 cost, right? 11 cost is expensive. But we're getting some pretty good stats. Attack of 5 or 6 is pretty good. Defense of 1 or 2 admittedly isn't very good. Health of 14? Health of 14 is good. Still an 11 cost, but it's pretty nice. We also see another beast just like we saw yesterday, so... I find that kind of interesting. There seems to be... At least a little bit of a trend going on here. I wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit of love for Beast in terms of some extra cars to give him a bit of support coming in the not too distant future. Can't say it's definitely happening, but can say it seems like the kind of thing that we might be getting before too long. We're also a melee character, regardless of what mode we're in here, which opens up all the usual melee tricks. So what do we get? Well, we start off in alt mode. And in alt mode, while this is attacking an Autobot, it has pierce free. That is to say, you guarantee free damage as long as your attack is free, which it is, your attack is six. Pierce guarantees you do an amount of damage equal to either the attack of a character or the pierce, whichever is lower. So that's kind of nice. I mean, if you want to go full on with this, you could always play something like a piercing blaster, which would then give you pierce free. And we all know that pierce stacks. So you get pierce free, you add it to another pierce free, you end up with pierce six. And then with an attack of six, naturally you're guaranteeing six damage with every attack. I can think of worse things. Plus then you're sitting there rocking 14 health. And if you're guaranteeing six damage, that would maybe give you a chance to... um. To play a bit defensive here. Now you've only got a defense of one naturally, which is low. Although you could always play something like body armor to give yourself tough free. Being a melee character, that would totally work. And you could here just go, you know what? I'm already getting pierce free. So if I play defensive and pierce, get some black icons in, etc. Black icons give you pierce one for each black icon flipped until the end of the turn. Not the end of battle. So if you can attack more than once... You get to use the pierce more than once. And then essentially here, you could just be going defensive and pierce guaranteeing six damage a turn. And six damage isn't phenomenal. But there's plenty of turns that I've had without doing six damage. And I'm sure there's plenty of turns that you've had as well. Flicking over into body mode. Remember, body and bot mode are not the same. And yes, you do need to have a head on here in order to use it. We have, when an enemy that has fewer stars than this becomes tapped, do one damage to that enemy. When an enemy that has more stars than this becomes tapped, do one damage to this. Now, the thing to remember is that we were told by Ken Nagel in one of his things, this combines their stats together. I.e., what you have to do is add up your stars. So here, there is an argument to go right. Let's play the biggest head we can possibly find. Now, as it stands at the moment, the biggest head we can possibly find is Flintlock. Flintlock is the one that gives you tough free, which would work with this. If we're going for the whole, let's go defensive and focus on pierce, because we've got a high attack and natural pierce free anyway, then maybe Flintlock's kind of the answer here. Well, obviously, these are always revealed as a pair. We'll look at the head that was revealed with this in a moment. But I think for the time being, Flintlock is probably my preferred one here. I like the tough three, and I like the four stars. Again, 
When an enemy with fewer stars than this becomes tapped, you do one damage to it. But when an enemy with more stars than this becomes tapped, you take a damage. So there's a big difference between having a 4 star head and being a 15 star character. Very few things are more than 15 stars. Or being a 13-star character. I mean, take something like Captain Jetfire. Captain Jetfire, good card, sees a bunch of play, has seen some success in tournaments. People generally like Captain Jetfire. Captain Jetfire is a very expensive character. Problem is, it's a 16. So with Captain Jetfire, there's nothing you can do. As it stands at the moment... You are a 15-star character max. However, let's instead take the way for General Optimus Prime. Another very good character that has seen a whole bunch of play and success comes in at 15 stars. Now, you're not doing any damage to it. If we read between the lines here, literally, if they've got the same number of stars as you, no one takes any damage. But playing something like Flintlock here would stop you taking damage rather than making you take damage. Of course, this is going to be metagame dependent. If nobody is playing 14 or 15 star characters, it's irrelevant. But if they are, it can become extremely relevant. Now, this, of course, only happens when you're in bot mode. In alt mode, you're just getting the pierce. But I really like the idea of playing Skull Smasher with Flintlock, being as expensive as possible, having tough free, because remember the heads work in both modes here, having tough free, and then just sitting there with pierce and going full defense. That sounds like fun. I mean, if you're playing a predominantly blue deck, and you've got Flintlock on here with a body armor, you might have a natural defense of one, but you're sitting there with tough six, flipping six extra battle cards, that is eight unless you hit a white icon, in which case ten, you're going to be deflecting an awful lot of that damage very, very quickly. And this is leading me to one of my favorite things about the Titan Masters so far. I'm looking at these, and rather than just going, here is a head and a body, I'm looking at Skull Smasher and going, yeah, I know it's been shown with a particular head, but I really like it with Flintlock. It's the second video in a row, well, at least going by when I record them, I suppose they might be uploaded in a different order, where I'm looking at it and going, yes, I know they've been revealed with a head, but here's one I like more. And that is one of my favorite things about Wave 5 so far. Rather than just going, here is a body and a head that goes with it, it really is starting to feel like they're going, here are a bunch of bodies. Here are a bunch of heads. Go nuts. Now, speaking of a bunch of heads, I do like Grax. Grax is good. And I think Grax is going to see a lot of play. Because Grax comes in as a three-star head, gives you plus five health. We've not seen any that give you extra health, and plus five health is huge. Plus five health is gigantic. I mean, the best we've really had up to now in terms of granting extra health has been energy pack. An energy pack, I mean, look, it made its way into the Energon Invitational winning deck. And that gave you four extra health. Now, remember, it is a head, so it has to go on a body. You can't use it with Optimus Prime. But I think it is very fair to say that this is going to see some love. Grax is going to get some love here. And then, of course, especially with something like Skull Smasher, you need to then ask the question, well, do I want tough three or do I want plus five health? For one big attack, you want the extra health. For lots of little attacks, you want the extra tough. But the fact that it would turn it from a 14 to a 15 star character does mean that you do need to think about that because if you're taking lots of extra damage throughout the game, the extra health isn't going to work out. As a side note, if we go back to the body mode just for a second, when an enemy that has fewer stars than this, doesn't matter what mode they're in. It is an enemy, so it doesn't matter what mode they're in, when they get tapped, you take the damage. I do like Grax, and if we have a look at the stats here, unlike most of these, it's a vanilla character that can't flip. Four attack is better than most, five health is better than most. Yes, the zero defense sucks, but as with all of these, you're not lasting very long. There are two things I love about Grax. First of all, you've got an attack of four, which to be fair is tied with Flintlock. Secondly, 
you've got five health. We've seen loads of these heads that have two health. And the point I make in pretty much all of these videos is, well, if you've got two health, then a marksmanship takes you down. Or a plasma burst takes you down. If you've got three health, maybe your opponent plays a bolt of lightning. You never know. But if you've got five health, your opponent's probably going to one-hit you. Let's be clear about this. You're not going to be soaking up multiple attacks. But you're going to have to be attacked rather than taken out with cheeky damage from other cards. And as far as I'm concerned, that makes a gigantic difference here. Should be noted that Grax is also a melee character, which does help with Skull Smasher's melee nuss. Though Flintlock is also a melee character, if that's what you're into. I like these. Skull Smasher really gets me deck building cogs whirring. And like I say, I'm thinking blue and Pierce and Flintlock. But I do think there's a lot to love here. And as for Grax, I mean, look, four attack and five health tells me pretty much all I need to know about the bot. And plus five health, there are going to be plenty of people that have got three stars left for a bot and go, you know what? I think we probably just go for the extra five health especially in a deck that can play a little bit of healing so there we go ladies and gentlemen there is skull smasher and grax huge shout out once again to the lovely folks over at transformer slag podcast do make sure you check out their video i will link it in the description just go and give them a click check it out i think you're gonna find some stuff you like but for now, ladies and gentlemen tell me what you think about these cards go nuts in the comment section but please remember the rule be nice, would you? And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, where we talk Transformers and a whole bunch of other games. And do please consider checking out patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all of that good stuff. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would you? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.